Well, I have to say, this thing's got between four and 5,000 toll miles on it. And this paint still looks absolutely perfect. I mean, it's crazy with all the weather that I've been through. I mean, we've been through, well, it actually set through a tornado and some of the worst winds I've ever seen in Oklahoma and some of the hardest rain and stuff that we've been through. And the only thing it ever got on it was some pits right down in here. And that's before I ended up getting the rock tamers down there. So now I don't have that issue anymore. Wish I'd have put it on right when I purchased it. But I mean, just incredible. A few bugs still up there that I didn't get off and need to be rubbed a little harder, but I mean, paint chip wise or anything like that this thing's still absolutely perfect very impressed with this unit if you're looking for a fifth wheel you really need to consider a riverstone and the storage there is 16 of those totes in there six chairs two propane i mean we have this thing loaded i mean it just just does the job so impressed with it got to get some glue off the license plate area because the people I purchased it from as you can see right there chose to glue the temp tag on it instead of putting it on the correct way but other than that it's the only thing, you know, and the cameras work perfect on this thing. Just super pleased. You know, everybody told me when I bought this not to go too far with it. You know, you buy a brand new fifth wheel and they break down on you. And that's all I heard from everybody because all the ones they bought were in the shop. Most of the time, the first few months they had it, spent it all in the shop. So I said, no, I've heard some pretty good things about the Riverstone. I really did my research. I mean, the only issues we had were probably my error or, you know, just out of this for a while and not knowing some of the things and not remembering some of the stuff. But other than that, Riverstone's got their shit together. I mean, to pick something up brand new like this and haul it the way we did, get all our stuff crammed in and jump on the road and head down the road like we did, I mean, very, very impressed super happy and I heard some people have complaints about the door I'm assuming it's the front door so if you can leave something in the comment let me know what you're talking about because sometimes that door will shut perfect and other times you got to slam it so that's probably my only complaint with it but I thought maybe that's just an adjustment that we need to figure out and I definitely bought the right truck to haul this. I know that everybody out there is Ford fans, Dodge fans, but I think these new trucks, they're all in that same area. They'll all have their little problems, but if you drive them correctly and take care of them and don't overdo it, because any of these things will fall apart if you're gonna drive 80 miles an hour and pass everybody on the road. And I'm not doing that. I've done that when I was younger, learned the hard way, and I've been taking it easy been getting almost 10 miles per gallon now since somebody on here told me to slow it down and drive it between 60 and 65 and that's what I've been doing and believe it or not I think it's even been a lot easier on the fifth wheel um, when we first towed this thing you had a lot of dust and dirt that was falling out of it and maybe that's what they do when they're first built but these last couple trips this thing has been perfectly clean inside Everything stays exactly where we put it. Super happy. And for the people who want to know why I don't have a generator up there, it's because I live in this thing full time now. I have too much stuff. So the generator was mounted on the back and everybody knows how that turned out. So it's in the back of the truck now. We have it if we need it. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.